guys welcome to another vlog so today we are going to do something really exciting there's a car here that's about to conquer me we're doing something really exciting with oribi expeditions we're going to nanyuki so not all the time beach life okay like we're going on safari it's been a while since i've been on safari actually it's been quite some time so we're going to this place called jambo mutara and it's in those sides of opejata so that's gonna be fun yeah so let's go we just stopped by trm to get some breakfast just because i am so hungry when i left the house <laughs> I was just making sure my plants are watered and doing all those things then I forgot to make breakfast so yeah we're here for that then we head out safari babe a whole safari babe this place is so nice and you know what i love i'm literally the only guest it's so serene and quiet i can already tell this is going to be a very nice break from nairobi i was actually getting sick of nairobi the camp is so beautiful i've changed it and i just want to go take some pictures real quick then i will be back to talk to you guys oh, i'm so excited this is so nice Oh, Mr. Justin. <laughs> I'm in this vlog. <laughs> it looks like you are. Are you really? Look at <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> okay, we've done like three quarter of what we need to do. While we were shooting, I got stung by a bee. <laughs> Thanks to Justin. No. No. I yeah, but we've done it pretty quickly. It's been like a Maybe two hours. So going for a game drive and then just take some few more shots. Then I'll come back to the hotel and finally just enjoy the place. Cause yo, this content creation can become a lot of work. Hey guys, so I'm back in the room. So let me tell you guys what happened. Um, I've been in Nairobi. And I've been feeling so like ugh, I don't know if it was January the mood in January was just horrible no was it just me so I was like let me try something different like a nice quiet safari would be so so nice this place is beautiful it took us about like four and a half hours from Nairobi you can say five hours um, so get into Nanyuki you know of course and then you you have to get into Opejeta Conservancy it's in Opejeta the camps are they have 15 tents like these ones and you can see they all have outdoor tubs and I think one of them has a jacuzzi like that is so cool so I'm here for three nights and I just feel like it's exactly what I needed so I'm back in the room I want to um, chill freshen up and then go for dinner and then just chill for the rest of the time <laughs> So usually um, this place gets quite busy um, but ever since I think COVID times and I think just the time of the year I'm actually the only one here which is fantastic. Usually I dress up for dinner but psh, nobody got time for that. I actually forgot that I got stung by a bee. Oh my god it's actually swollen. Well, oh well. So basically, there's been an animal outside and I think, I don't know if it's because of the light and I'm just like, yo, what is going on? I don't wanna, I can't even peep because the tent is closed and they closed like all the curtains. So the only way I can check is if I go outside and I'm just like, hell no! 
no i'm doing that i'm not doing that and i need to try get some sleep because i'm supposed to be ugh, i was supposed to do a game drive at five six thirty and look at my state wow wow okay i'm gonna get try sleep so i can look like a normal human being in the morning yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit this is the face of a girl who has barely slept <laughs> oh god what a disaster it's now 6 40 so i'm waking up just to go for the game drive it's a beautiful morning actually I'm Alfred, <laughs> uh, your guide and uh, yeah in Jabo Mtara of course uh, you now in uh, Old Pajeta Conservancy, 90,000 acres property mm -hmm. home to the only two northern white rhinos left on earth there's two white rhinos, I thought there was only one Two, only two left. There's two left. Yeah, two females. Oh no, I yeah. wish those are male. Yeah, yeah, they're all females, unfortunately. But oh, no. yes, okay. hoping for the best, hoping they'll do best. Yeah, I in hope future. so. Yeah. water traps they actually have a borehole that they dug and then they have solar panels that help the borehole pump water out into the water traps for the animals to drink like, this is soft life <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting <laughs> what poop is that yeah so this is uh, an elephant dung it's what? yeah elephant. El elephant poop yeah apart from elephant being uh, destructive in the environment that they live in elephant are also constructive in other words mm. and uh, elephant dung uh, is consist of like uh, different uh, plant materials and different seeds from different trees. Yeah. So it is believed that elephants tend to plant about 300 uh, species of trees per day. Uh, this manure, single, it's yeah, this, the, yeah, this is a single pile mm. or a single dung from mm. an elephant. They tend to produce like a six or ten, like these ones. Six or ten per drop. Yeah. Elephant feed about 250 kilos per day. Wow. Yeah, drinking about 150 ki uh, liters of water. 50 percent of what elephant eat from you know. The different species of trees yeah. is uh, medicinal. It's, uh -huh. it's a it's a herbal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if, for example, you're having a headache for quite some time that is not persistent, yeah, you take about this much. No. Yes, you take about this much, and no. then you light it, yeah, and then you smoke it, yeah, yeah. and then you get uh, like an instant relief. Can yeah. I, can I smell it? Sure. It's just a basically a plant material, actually. It doesn't smell that bad, but it looks like sawdust or something. <laughs> Some manure. <laughs> I need to wash my hands. It doesn't smell bad, actually. <laughs> Here you are, sanitizer. Thank you. So, uh, we are in the corridor section actually this is basically what connects all animals or all wildlife to move freely from different conservancies mm. for example you might find an elephant here and uh, in the next few weeks you go to Lyon and you see it there so it's not a surprise elephant. so this is what connects them actually okay. it's like a channel yeah plus you have a uh, camera traps down there uh, uh, researchers actually and uh, you know mm. any other old budget old security like mm. to monitor just what's in and what's out mm. the conservancy so okay. it's yeah so they actually track the animals and see yeah, actually, to see what's what has new. crossed. Yeah, what, what's new. Okay. Like what's new in and what's new. And new rhinos, out. you said rhinos can't cross. Rhinos out. actually can't cross outside of this place because it's designed not to accommodate that, mm. th that animal. You know, it's it's, won't it's fit. short and uh, you know wide in size. Yeah. So it won't fit there. Plus, it's actually under civilian 24 hours, so it's mm. not allowed to move in certain area. So okay. it's, yeah, it's under watchful eyes. Yeah. That is so interesting. I like that the animals are allowed to move freely, like from here to there. That's so nice because then you're not limited. Huh? That's really cool. I didn't know that. That was 
was actually so so nice like i just forget how much i love wildlife but i really enjoy seeing animals in the habitat i feel like i want to be part of like a campaign advocating for like educating people about wildlife and how to protect it it's just a thing that's in me so breakfast is here it's coming and i'm just watching elephants like drinking water at the water hole this place i would highly recommend and the service is so so nice and the food eh the food is so good too. Honestly, this is actually the best self-care holiday ever. I've just been writing down my thoughts and just journaling and I feel like this February has a bit more stability than January for me. There was just a point in January I felt so out of balance. Honestly, this is such a nice place to come and just disconnect from everything. The network is not the best. There's Wi-Fi but you kind of just forget about things in Nairobi. I'm gonna head out for lunch in a bit although I'm not very hungry I feel like I should have asked them to just do dinner not lunch but it's okay I guess I need to eat I haven't been eating very well lately so let me take this opportunity <laughs> to actually eat I'm changed for the pool. I'm actually not, I forgot to carry a cover up, so I'm wearing my pajamas. But I feel like they work because they have like, is this cheetah print? So, and the color kind of goes with this, so I think it's working out. It's fine. I'm panting because I'm so stuffed. I just want to sit down, to be honest. I just want to sit. <laughs> spent the day well so it's about time to go pack I had to pack my stuff so that tomorrow I'm just ready I want to shoot some stuff in the morning so that's what I want to go do now then have a date with the chef so I asked him if I could cook with him and he was like yeah sure why not so I'm gonna join him for for a bit we can cook I think we're making pork chops and some potatoes if I'm not wrong, or pork chops and veggies, I think that's what I'd ask for, and uh, banana, banana fritatas, the dessert. So I'm excited for that. I'm just gonna go back to the room now, change. morning oh child I want to take some pictures this jumpsuit is a bit big we're running late so we need to go we need to go I did it was lovely but the lions were, were around still there. around yeah and this time there were more <laughs> with Alfred again Ooh. Heading to the bush breakfast. Is it far from here? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. All right. Destroying the trees as usual. Oh, yeah. yeah. They just move away. They don't like confrontation. Yeah.
bush breakfast. Um, yeah, just hungry as hell actually. So, yeah, it's literally 3 p.m. now. I think I left you guys hanging after breakfast because I just wanted to do like last minute content. You know those things that always happen. Where you have shorts, you're like, I didn't take this one, I didn't take this one. I still have this outfit. So yeah, that's what I was doing. But yeah, I've packed up, left the room. I'm so sad to leave because as we were leaving, there was just like elephants oh, over there just drinking water playing. Yeah, so time to head out. As usual, I have to tell you guys the price before you come for my throat. Like, how much is it? How much is it? <laughs> and also, always check the, com the description box as well. If you're looking for more details, like if you didn't understand something, it's always going to be in the description box. So the rates, I have it written here. First of all, I mentioned earlier, because some of you I know didn't hear, it's a Jumbo Mutara camp. It's in Olpejeta Conservancy in Nanyuki. Um, from the road, it's about, I was told it's about 50 minutes to an hour on the dusty road. Um, you should, you, a small car can hack, but you, you're you better off with a four-wheel drive. Okay, so weekend rate is, that's Friday to Saturday. It's 19500 If you book with Oribi, of course they have deals. If you don't book with Oribi, then it's going to be a bit more expensive. And that's the cost per person sharing. So what that means is... For two people, if you're two people, you're booking like a double room, like one tent, each person pays 19500 If you're booking as a single person, then it's going to be, you add 3000 bob on top of that. Then weekday rates, Sunday to Thursday, is 16850 per person. Um, per person sharing, again, then that's, if you are single, again, you just add 3000 onto that. Yeah, so I would highly recommend, especially for couples or if you're coming here just to like relax, disconnect from the world. I really honestly enjoyed it and it was so, so, so relaxing. Exactly what I needed. You can even come here with your girlfriends, whatever, like it's up to you. But it's it's really nice. So yeah, I'm off now. We have to drive back to Nanyuki and it's already, I mean, we have to drive back to Nairobi. It's already pretty late. So see you guys on the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up as usual. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.